This is a national search. We're going to look for people throughout the United States. We're going to be advertising all over the country. And it was a very conscious choice to reach broadly outside this area. We want to go for the best we can find. The Norwalk Board of Ed announced Tuesday night they are searching for the next superintendent. After about an hour-long executive session, the committee drafted a profile outlining the position's credentials. As the committee starts to narrow down their nationwide search, Chairman Mike Lyons says what the Norwalk school system really needs is a strong leader with thick skin. Norwalk is a tough place. Everything here is with a fight. So the candidate who comes in here has to have some thick skin. you got to have the ability to deal with the sort of rough and tumble environment that Norwalk is and still get your job done. The committee discussed compensation will be between 230000 and 250000 Although some members are content with the amount, which is slightly lower compared to surrounding school districts, others argue it's still too much. It's almost as if we're giving the next superintendent an automatic raise. So I would rather, considering the normal taxpayer and what's going on in the city, I would rather start the range lower, and that's my. With the help of PROACT, a consulting firm that helps school districts search and screen candidates, the committee plans to select a candidate in May for hire on July 1st. We want to see somebody with a um, proven record of experience in inner city type school systems. Okay, I would go for that over four PhDs from somebody who's never actually run a school system in a challenging environment. And we want to see somebody who's got a good knowledge of the Common Core because that's you know, the biggest change in public education in 30 years. And we want somebody here who knows what they're doing to implement it. In Norwalk, Priscilla Lombardi, it's relevant.com.